Hey physics peeps, so for this lab, you're going to be constructing several different uh, circuits, but they go by pretty quick. So when you're constructing your circuits, the circuit diagrams are given here, but then kind of what's going to end up looking, what it'll look like in the simulator is looked over, shown over here. Don't worry so much about which direction that the batteries are going, as long as they're going in the same direction. That's a kind of key thing. So when you build this one, it'll end up looking something like this. Um, but <clears throat> then you'll be asked to make some measurements with it. Remember that you can use tools like your voltmeter over here. You can click and drag it over onto the board. But when it says to measure across something, like to measure the voltage of the batteries, remember that you have to have one end of those leads on one side, one of the leads on the other side, and then it'll show you the voltage of the batteries together. Awesome. And but when they uh, mention in the lab to measure the voltage drop across bulb one, remember voltage is the how we supply energy to the circuit. Voltage drop is energy that's used by the circuit. So when you're measuring voltage drop, use the voltmeter. You're just putting on either side of the uh, bulb. So when you do that, you go over to the simulation and you'll touch your leads on one side of the bulb and the other side of the bulb and you'll touch the wire so right now nothing is showing up because i'm not going to show you what shows up make sure that the circuit closes though and that your bulbs are on when you are uh, measuring your voltage so go ahead and you'll end up uh, touching this end of the bulb and then for the second bulb you'll have to move them over and you'll measure on side or across that bulb that's kind of that piece that's not too bad and that's measuring voltage you'll be doing that periodically throughout the lab to measure current though you're going to have to make a little break in here and so i'm making a little break between the battery and the switch i'm going to open up the switch and at the ammeter tool is what's used to measure current so the current we use, uh, we connect that into our circuit. Make sure that both ends of that ammeter are connected together. So when I move like the batteries or like the wire or the switch, that it's uh, actually moving everything together. And so that right now there's nothing reading because there's no current that flows. But once you close the switch, you'll end up seeing uh, a current that will be measured. There's other parts where you can remove uh, circuits or parts of the circuit from here. So you can click on it and then dump it in the trash, all that kind of stuff, and it'll remove it. And then you can simply just add it back in if you need to. Okay. But there is a part on here that uh, <clears throat> that takes you through parts one and two, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so if you're... Moving on to part three, that's going to be now. You can pause the video. All right, and then here's part three. And it's a short circuit. So you're going to create that three bulb circuit. You can keep the ammeter in there, but then you're going to create this short. And it's really just creating a wire that stretches across between bulb one and two all the way to three. So when we set that up, you can just take wires and connect them from this side this side make sure you get the information for the circuit when it doesn't have the short in it first and then when it tells you to to create the short the short is going to end up being connected from like here all the way over to here so you'll actually snap these together and to disconnect stuff you can click on it and use the scissors and it disconnects it for you all that kind of stuff so You'll do that for the short circuit, and you'll figure out some reasons why short circuits are actually really dangerous. And so that's part three. We're going to move on to part four, so pause the video. Awesome. Okay, so here's part four. Part four, you are going to... create a parallel circuit and that parallel circuit will look just like 
Let's see, guys. So when you start uh, putting it together, make sure that you have enough junctions here. But a parallel circuit is just what it sounds like. It has parts that run parallel to each other. Yay. And so, <clears throat> or run kind of side by side. And you're going to figure out what a parallel circuit is and what it does. But to connect it, make sure that you're connecting everything correctly and that pieces are connected actually connect it and and then you'll flip the switch you'll see what happens you'll end up measuring voltage but when again when it says voltage across like the first light bulb you're going to have to like touch one end and then touch the other end of the light bulb with the other lead and the current you can just leave it that piece in there and it should work just fine and but that's kind of what your lab is feel free to put questions into the chat if you need to but you guys will be you'll be awesome all right you guys here in a little bit.